Good day, my dear postgraduate students. I shall be taking another class on connective tissue stains with namely Meson's trichrome. As I told you earlier, you will be having an exercise on h &E staining, PAP staining, and any one of the special stains. So it is better that we are thorough with the principle, the procedure, the applications, as well as the pitfalls. So this is the connective tissue, just a recall. So I'm finding the slender fibroblast, bundles of collagen, and in some areas I find a vague matrix or a ground substance. The fibroblast produces the collagen. It also secretes a ground substance and it can be a mesenchymal origin to elastin. And when we say connective tissue, it means collagen, reticulin, elastin, basement membrane, particularly in tissue such as the kidney, then muscle, oxytalon fibers or tendons, neuroglia, which are specialized. So this will be the list of the connective tissues. You should have them in mind. There are five different types of collagen. So when I say collagen, the blue color one indicates a nucleus and I'm finding a spindle shaped slender cell. These are the fibroblasts and the wavy bundle, which are pale, that is the collagen that we am seeing. The collagen bundles can branch, but the individual fibrils will not be branching. So this is the size of the fibril, and there can be microfibril, which are about 40 nanomicrons. Type 1 is large fiber. Type 2 is in the hyaline cartilage and collagen. Type 3, associated with glycoproteins. Type 4, basement membrane and type 5, placenta and lesions such as atherosclerosis. Elastin, it might be branching or parallel, but this very delicate fibrils which cannot be seen by means of the HNE. &E. They are in the blood vessels and in the dermis. The glycoprotein constitutes the microfibrils as well as the amorphous protein. Normally they are rubbery in consistency, that is why they have got a property of recoiling. Under H&E, eosinophilic and refractile. So these are the ready recognized for the connective tissue strains. Meson trichrome is what we are going to deal with. In this, the muscle will be red. Collagen, reticulin takes up a blue color. Elastin takes up a red color, but not very significant as such. Van Giesen, the muscle will take up the yellow color, collagen the red color. PTAH, muscle will be blue, striations can be broken. HNE, &E, only two colors are there, blue for the hematoxylin and pink for the eosin, non-specific. So this is the Weigert's hematoxylin. As I mentioned earlier, hematoxylin is a nuclear state. In this case, it can be brown to brownish black in color. Now, what is the procedure of the Mason strike room? Before that, we'll deal with the principle and the ingredients. So the principle is smaller dye molecule will penetrate a tissue element. But when a larger molecule can penetrate the same, the smaller element is replaced by it. I do not know what law of physics it is. He says smaller molecules will penetrate. But when larger molecules will penetrate, they will be dislodging the smaller molecules. That much you will remember fine. And it is composed of aniline dye, Vibrix scarlet, and Weigert cyan hemotoxin. So as I told you earlier, the first step will be doing the staining with hematoxin. So Weigert cyan hematoxin is the first stain. Culling says that celestine blue can be used and wash with distilled water, the hematoxylin stain is over. Stain with Bibrix scarlet. This is a component over. And it stains the cytoplasm of the muscle and the keratin red in color. Then there is a differentiation. Differentiation means I will stain. Then whatever is unwanted is removed. That is called differentiation. Because 
when i stain with bibrit scarlet everything will become red then when i differentiate all the unwanted elements will become pale and finally i stain it with blue color for example in this case the muscle will take up the red color and then the blue color will go to the collagen so that is how i am able to distinguish i hope even without a picture you are able to very clearly understand this meson trichrome as well as the principle trichrome means three colors collagen muscle fibrin blood vessels can be demonstrated by it. there are the different types of trichrome one is meson trichrome another is mallory trichrome and then there is a one step trichrome maybe commercial but it has been mentioned in culling oils so we will be sticking to this meson trichrome and the trichromes are being controlled by the porosity of the tissue and the size of the molecules same as principle please by heart my entire class it is worth its weight in gold look at the meson strike so in this one there is an endothelium over here fine and then there is a connective tissue i am able to see a blue color sometimes obviously in the blood vessel or in a skin there will be the muscle also that can be seen so the muscle here is taking up a red color and all the connective tissue is taking up a blue color so aniline blue this is what it stains fibric scarlet what it stains and iron hematoxylin is for the nuclei of all cells now what are the uses of the trichrome stain why at all do we use one muscle pathology dystrophy i think i got a picture of it i'll be showing it towards there cardiac infarction so a normal muscle will be taking up a red color whereas an infected area replaced by fibrosis may be taking up a blue color liver cirrhosis after all what is cirrhosis cirrhosis is fibrosis what is fibrosis connective tissue that will be taking up a blue color kidney a glomerulosclerosis look at this one all this crescent that is appearing in the periphery of the glomerulus takes up a blue color trichrome and pas can be done to demonstrate the gaucher cells and of course leomyoma where in the muscle takes up a red color fibroma where in the tumor cells take up a blue color these are some of the uses of the trichrome stain so this is a picture of this precision diagnosis this is a reference thanks to them so i am finding a fatty change effacement of architecture and then there is an ingrowth of this connective tissue which is producing what is called as a pseudo lobulation or an effacement of the architecture see the meson trichrome in action or this much better i find this is a parenchyma taking a red color but i am more interested in the connective tissue particularly in the early stage of cirrhosis this will be useful again this is can you people guess what this one is so it is a cornea a cornea in which there is a stroma that is taking up a blue color and then probably there is some granular hyaline deposits there. and there is a purple color nucleus which has been stained by the wegers metoxy cornea has one structure that can be stained with this and finally the muscle biopsy look at this so there are the different types of fibers and there is there is a ground substance sometimes i find it becomes monomorphic so it is for staining the muscle biopsy of course this might not be adequate you will have to do a immunohistochemistry on the muscle fibers the play of colors so again probably this is a case of an infarction there is a lot of this fibrosis so you, what you are seeing aniline blue is for the collagen and vibri scarlet stains the muscle over here and iron hematoxylin is for the nucleus that is seen the different parenchymal as well as the inflammatory cells some people aren't really all that they post to be so probably the true colors will be visible one day thank you